Hello, my lovely people, and welcome back to yet another video. Uh, welcome to a new video with the start of the week, and we're going to hop right into it. So today I have several roles coming to you. We're going to go over about seven roles within this video, so definitely stay tuned. It'll be about six to seven roles. And the very first role and opportunity that I have for you is through Hilton. If you don't know who Hilton is, Hilton is a major international hotel company. They own hotels all over the place and resorts. So let me first get into this very first role with Hilton. This one is the process analyst customer excellent role. And here is the job ID. Now, this is a remote role. If you do live in Dallas, Texas, that's great. But this role can definitely be performed remotely wherever you're sitting. Now, this role will support Hilton's reservation and customer care center. And moving down into more information regarding this role, within this role, you will have to understand the reservation and call center processes and organizational style so that you can provide better workflows, process management tools, and other analytical data points to help improve these departments. Now, moving down into more of the specifics of this actual role, you will be using business process management skills to document multiple different data and creating reports and charts. You'll also be documenting and processing new programs and project releases. You'll be conducting regular process reviews and seeing the root cause of why something is happening based on the analytics that you gather. You'll also be creating a business controls and reviewing metrics and data on a daily basis. You will be facilitating facilitating trainings and coaching for the team members based on the data points that you have pulled and where you can see things need to be enhanced. You'll also be using the data that you gather to enhance a lot of the different processes within these two departments. You'll also be partnering with some of the process experts to deliver roadmaps on how to better update the processes and what they need to add going forward. Now, some of the other things you will be doing is partnering with cross-function teams. So you'll be partnering with different teams within and outside of the reservation and the customer care department. You'll also be identifying project tasks and partnering with teams to basically make sure that those tasks get completed. Now, moving down to some of the things that they're looking for from you and some of the requirements here is for you to actually be a really great strategic problem solver, for you to also understand business and customer needs, and being able to document workflows and make recommendations for improvement. They also want you to be able to leverage analytical information and reporting to see different opportunities of improvement and where you can prioritize really great and new initiatives. They also do have here just having the ability to collaborate with other departments because you're going to be in the trenches literally with all of the data and all the information and you're going to also have to sync up with other departments. Every department affects another department so that is why you're also going to need to really be able to handle different people and deal with different people and communicate with different people. They also do have here that you will need a strong project management skill base and understand how to lead small projects and corporate initiatives. So moving down to the minimum requirements here, they do have that you will need two years of operations, project management, and business process experience. You'll also need two years of experience working in a project or process support role for contact centers, global or customer service-based companies. So if you work for a customer service department or call center before and you have 
have also been like a team lead or you understand the operational structures, you've been a supervisor or something of that nature, you've been a senior representative as well because they rely on senior representatives too, then this might be a job for you. Now, if you don't have those qualifications and you're looking for something more entry level, definitely stay tuned. I have other roles that I will be going over that are going to be a lot more entry level. So make sure you continue to watch so you can see those roles. Now, also, I want to say make sure you're a part of the family by subscribing to the channel and turning that bell notification on and turning it and clicking it to all so you can be notified every single time I release a new video. I do release videos weekly and I am going to up level and start definitely releasing more roles because I have so many for you guys. So definitely make sure that you're a part of the family and the tribe by subscribing and turning that bell notification on so you do not miss something that's phenomenal for you. I would hate for you to miss a role that really aligns with your career goals and your experience just because you were not subscribed. So make sure you do that. Some of the other requirements that they have here is just basically having proven knowledge of PowerPoint, Excel, and Visio or a similar software with the ability of being able to collect data and actually having a visualization of the data shown in a really nice way. They also do have here that you do have to be able to travel at least 10% um, and you probably will be going to different contact centers and working with different departments. So that's why that travel 10% is there. Now, if you can't travel 10%, it's completely fine. I have other roles that are fully remote. So definitely stay tuned for the remainder of the roles in this video. Some of the preferred qualifications that they have for this role is four years of experience in process improvement, two years of project management, two years of experience in contact center environment or like a call center environment, a high school degree with a background. So a high school diploma with a background in business or related field, training and certified in Six Sigma or other process related methodology certificates, okay? Now, moving down, they do have more information about Hilton and that they're an equal opportunity employer, but they do get it down into the benefits here. And they do offer an extensive benefit package with your medical, your dental, your vision, life insurance, short and long-term disability. They also offer the stock purchasing plan. Y'all know I love that because you're able to get a piece of the pie. And they do have here that you will get Hilton shares within that package for 50 15% discount than what it's selling for on the actual stock market. So that is phenomenal. You really are able to get a piece of the pie. They also offer a 401k savings plan, 20 days of paid time off. And then after your first year, you'll get a total of 25 days off. So that's really phenomenal, you guys. That's about a month of just paid time off. You'll also get up to 12 weeks of parental leave if you are a mother and you're birthing a child. And and then four weeks for non-birthing parents, okay? And then you also, in addition to that, you'll get 10 paid holidays and two floating holidays throughout the year. You'll get up to five days of bereavement. They also offer the flexible savings account and health savings account. You'll also be eligible for an employee assistant program, travel insurance, legal services, educational assistance, adoption assistance, a backup child care program, pre-tax commuter benefits, and travel discounts. The Annual salary range for this specific position is 55000 to 90000 per year. But as I always say, make sure you negotiate yourself and negotiate your rate. Do not, okay, sell yourself short. Make sure you're always negotiating those coins and getting what you deserve based on your experience, all right? So definitely just moving up into this job. Once again, this is the process analytics customer experience role with Hilton and here is the actual job ID.
Now, moving over to the next role that I do have with Hilton, this role is the Senior Analyst Revenue Support RMCC Americas role. All right, here is the job ID for this role. And once again, this is a Texas role, but it can be worked remotely. Now, this role is directly assisting the Revenue Management Consolidated Center, okay? And that department, in a nutshell, is the team that is responsible for helping hotels consistently grow their market shares, right? So to help their stocks go up and to be able to outperform their competitors, okay? So you'll be working directly alongside that specific team. Now, getting down into the description of this actual job, you will be gathering data regarding their revenue sales and market share, okay? And you will be reviewing that information and providing it to that department to help support strategy and decision making okay for that department now moving down into some of the descriptions and the more details of this role you will be applying revenue sales and marketing share data using sql excel and r to develop reports analysts and form views about the business You'll be proactively engaging in developing professional working relationships with the members within that department, okay? Two, understand their needs, share information on business trends, and be able to also identify different business opportunities. You'll also be handling and delivering requests from senior leadership and leading projects from inception until they're completely ruled out, okay? So moving down, some of the things that they're looking for is for you to have the ability to be a really great problem solver and really think and get to that next step right and how you're going to facilitate solutioning something they're also looking for someone who can consistently show a track record of being able to multitask really efficiently and provide those tools in the team environment they're also looking for someone who can provide or coordinate the support of business processes using corporate systems so being able to really utilize systems really well, interpret the data, and be able to report that data to different leaderships and team members. They also have here that you will need to be able to develop new reports and tools to drive efficiency and improve reporting metrics. You'll be leading reporting requests and provide updates to help senior management better understand the key drivers and opportunities for the future. You'll also be creating and structuring PowerPoint presentations to provide to leadership with detailed information. So you must also be able to work independently and within the team because you will be dealing with different departments, all right? They also do have have here that you do have to have exceptional critical thinking skills and analytical skills because you're going to be looking at a lot of data. Some of the minimum requirements that they have here is that you do have three years of experience in an analytical role. So if you did claim investigations or any type of investigations, if you did quality assurance, if you did auditing, if you did anything analytical, this can be a role for you. They also do have here that you do have to have experience with SQL Server, which is a Microsoft software. You also do need to be proficient with Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, Taboo, and or micro strategy or similar tools. Now coming down into some of their preferred requirements down here, they do have that if you do have an associate's degree, a college diploma, or something in hospitality or a related bachelor's degree with coursework in business administration or hospitality, that's a plus. If you have three years of programming experience with VBA, VB.net, Python, R, or SQL or similar programs, that's also a plus. If you do have three years of business analytics experience with Microsoft SQL, Excel, or similar programs, that's also a plus. If you also have three years of experience with hospitality technology systems, that's great as well. 
one year of server-based database development experience with Microsoft SQL, and then one year of hotel or hospitality experience in sales, revenue management, catering, or meeting services is also a plus, all right? Now, moving down into their benefits, they do offer the same exact benefits as the role prior, so your comprehensive medical, dental, disability insurance, stock purchasing plan, a 401k, your 20 to 25 days of paid time off, parental leave, holiday time, your flexible health insurance, spending accounts, and so many other benefits. They also do have here that the salary range for this specific position is anywhere between $50,000 to $75,000 per year all right so once again if this role does not align with you and your background definitely stay tuned i have other roles that may be a better fit but if you are interested in this role and you do have some of the qualifications for this role definitely get over and apply this specific role once again is the senior analyst revenue support rmcc role with hilton and here is the job id now getting into the next role that I have with Hilton. This role is the senior analyst project management role. This role, okay, is fully remote. It is, you know, based in Dallas, but you can be remote no matter where you're sitting. This role does help support the reservation and customer care department as well, okay? Within this role, you will be basically reviewing data and leading projects, okay, for those departments. Some of the detailed things that you'll be doing within this role is leading and managing the internal and corporate project deliverables for the HRCC team. You'll also be bringing teams together to document project tasks, assign owners and timelines, and create project framework for follow-up and execution, okay? So you will be more of a leader, basically, in that managerial supervisor role and leading them and letting them know what the goals are and how they need to reach the goals. You'll also be maintaining project trackers, okay, to ensure things are moving along, you'll also have to build out a way for them to be able to have approval for projects. They also have here that you have to effectively communicate the status of projects and calling out any risk that may be associated with the project and being able to really solution them. You'll be participating in project meetings, okay, representing the reservation and customer care departments, and you'll be documenting business decisions, outcomes, actions, and risks. You'll also be coordinating efforts and impacting assessments for deliverables. You will also also be in charge of providing, updating, learning, and development for that specific department. All right. Now, some of the other things that you will be doing is partnering with the process analyst to drive business and process changes. You'll also be driving initiatives to create and document standard processes and practices for driving new products. Okay. So moving down into some of the things that they're looking for from you is just the ability to handle various tasks at the same time while also being able to complete them by deadlines, all right? Build and maintain project management tools. You'll also have the multitask, so really having good multitasking skills as well as organizational skills and being able to work independently. They also want you to be a quick learner and being able to really build up your expertise within this area kind of quickly. There are also looking for someone who is a excellent communicator because you will be dealing with different levels of management and different departments. They also do have here that you will need experience working with functional and technical decision makers. They also do have here that you will have to work with different technologies to really identify the functions and be able to find optimization opportunities. Now, moving down into some of the qualifications that they have here, the minimum qualifications they have is four years of operations, project management, or business process experience. 
Also, that you are able to work in PowerPoint, Excel, Project, and Visio really well and build out really visual reports and really collect data in a really great way. This role does also have the travel for less than 10% of the role. So you may have to travel to different departments and within different states. Now, if you do not have these specific qualifications, do not fret. I have more roles definitely for you. So make sure you stay tuned. Some of the useful and preferred qualifications that they have here that you do not need, but it's a plus if you do have them, is four years of project management, having a project management or agile certification, having two years of experience in a context center environment, so like a call center environment, and also supervise or if you have led other people. So if you were a supervisor or team lead and you've had to lead a team, that's also a plus. Now, this role also does have the same benefits of the medical to dental division, life insurance, the disability insurance, 401k, your paid time off, and a slew of other benefits. This role, because you will be leading people, right, and you will be in a more supervisor role, this role is paying $65,000 all the way up to $100,000 for this specific role. So definitely, if you have any other of these requirements um, that they're asking for. And it's great because they're not even really asking for managerial requirements. They just want to make sure that you do have project management or business process experience. If you don't have that experience, I got something. We're getting into more roles. But for those of you who do, definitely hop over and apply for this role. You know they go very quickly. And once again, this role is the senior analyst project project management role. Now, the next role that I have for you is with the company called Moda. Moda is a health insurance brokerage company that provides health insurance for a lot of different business owners for them and their employees, okay? So getting into the roles that I do have with Moda, this first role is the customer service tech support specialist one role. It is remote. It's remote in these specific states. Okay, so keep that in mind. If you're not within those states, I do have a entry level role that is fully remote and does not matter where you're sitting. Okay, so I just wanted to let you know that, but I did want to bring this role to anyone who may be sitting in any of these states because I really did think this was a great work from home role, especially for someone who's looking for something a little more entry level. All right. Now, it does say here it is fully work from home. And moving down here, it does get into some information about Moda themselves. Okay. Now, the benefits that they do offer is medical, dental, vision, prescription, life insurance, disability. They also offer a 401k with the employer match. They also offer a flexible spending account, employee assistant programs, PTO, and company paid time holidays off. Now, within this role, some of the primary functions and descriptions of this actual role, you will be responding to customers' inquiries via phone, email, chat, or social media, okay? And really seeing what their issues are and being able to resolve their issues. You'll quickly identify the problems and form solutions and then also troubleshoot anything that they're having issues with, okay? You'll also be escalating them to higher up management when needed, all right? But they're going to train you really well on how to handle a call from start to finish. You'll be supporting customers across different platforms, all right? And you'll be troubleshooting multiple different devices. So desktop, PC, tablets, phones, browsers, hardware, OS, right? So Apple software. You'll be resolving issues. You'll also be taking notes about the customer's inquiries and putting that information into um, a reporting system. You'll also be assisting them with registering for the actual platform and providing passwords and things of that nature. And then they also do have here that you will be monitoring customer complaints on social media and reaching out to provide assistance. 
you'll be responding to email inquiries for medical dental pharmacy, EBT, and individual membership accounts. You'll be opening and submitting service tickets as well um, regarding their benefit tracker, e-bill, and any of the MODA program systems. You'll be reviewing, updating, and becoming very familiar with new and revised benefit information. And moving down into the requirements, they do have here that you will need a high school diploma or equivalent. You will need six to 12 months of experience being in the customer service or equivalent work experience. Even if you weren't necessarily in a call center, but you had to deal with customers directly, that's great. They do also have here that they would like certain speeds regarding your typing that you will also need to know just regular Microsoft Office applications like your Excel and things of that nature because you will be working with a whole bunch of different systems with email and chat. If you do have prior experience or basic understanding of claim processing, that's great membership accounting, medical dental pharmacy plans, customer escalations, technical support or online chat, that's great as well. Having strong time management planning and really being organized is also great. Having the ability to multitask, being able to work well under pressure and in a really high paced environment, being able to really pay attention to detail and analyze things and really listen and understand what somebody is saying and verbally to you and written is really important because you need to understand what they're saying so that you can solution their issue, right? They do also have here that they would like you to have really well developed verbal and written communication skills because you will be dealing with people across many different platform channels via phone, chat, email, social media, and things of that nature. And then they also have here just having the ability to handle difficult phone calls, irate callers, and being able to really bring them down. If you are able to work extra hours and overtime as needed, that's also great as well. Now they do get into some information just about, you know, they're an equal opportunity employer and things of that nature. Now this role, they do have that this role is paying anywhere between $20 and seven cent per hour to $23 and three cent per hour. But always, as I say, negotiate yourself and negotiate your worth. If you have a lot more of experience experience than the six month experience, then definitely make sure that you negotiate yourself. Okay. Now, once again, this role is for state specific applicants. And this one is the customer service tech support specialist number one role with Moda. Now moving over to my second role that I have with Moda, this one is the appeals coordinator remote role. So this one is if you do have a little more experience with reviewing claims and reviewing different things, this would be a phenomenal rule for you. This one is also state specific. So keep that in mind when reviewing this rule. Okay, it is fully work from home. And then moving down, this one also does offer the same benefits, the medical, the dental division, pharmacy, life and disability, the 401k matching, flexible spending account, employee assistant program, PTO and company paid holidays. Now the schedule for this specific role is going to be on Pacific Standard Time. So keep that in mind when applying for this role. The requirements that they have here is a high school diploma or equivalent, six months to two years of experience in medical dental claim processing or customer service is preferred, okay? It is not a requirement, but it is preferred. So you definitely still can apply for this role if you don't have that. It's just preferred. Now, they do have here demonstrate knowledge of Medicare and Medicaid grievance complaints and appeal processes are preferred if you don't know. They will train you. A lot of these medical roles, appeal roles, claim roles, they're going to train you really well. So I don't want you to get discouraged just because you see this on a job posting. I'm telling you, they will train you. They also do have here is just knowledge and understanding of complaint and appeal procedures is preferred. The ability to interpret benefit contracts is great and policies and the products is great. Demonstrating strong reading, verbal and written communication is a plus and you're going to definitely need that. 
And being able to problem solve, really being analytical and having really great organizational skills. Now, they also do have a typing minimum of 25 words per minute. So keep that in mind. And also just understanding your normal computer softwares like Word, Excel, and other core operating systems within your computer. This is going to be a fast-paced environment. So keep that in mind. You're also going to have to keep things confidential because you will be dealing with appeals and higher level claim processes and things of that nature. So definitely know that when getting into this position. And then they just have some things here about just adhering to their policies and being able to communicate in a positive and patient manner. Now, some of the primary functions that they do have here of the job, like the actual job description, you will be researching grievances, complaints, and correspondence and appeals. You'll be performing a complete review at each stage and really being able to solution that for whoever is appealing that claim, all right? So it may be things that include like overpayments or underpayments and things of that nature. You'll be responding and writing to grievances and complaints and appeals. So you will have to have the ability to, to maintain a full caseload. You'll have to be able to communicate effectively and appropriately because you will have to provide written and verbal responses to grievances and complaints. You'll also be communicating by letter and or telephone with members, claimants, right? Independent review entities, attorneys, and providers. You'll also have to interpret contracts. You'll be working with other departments as well. So keep that in mind as well. And you're going to have to keep accurate and really great documents and really great notes. Now, moving down, this specific role is also paying the $20.07 all the way up to $23.03. So definitely, if this is a role that interests you, get over and apply. Once again, this is the Appeals Coordinator Remote Role with Moda. All right, and the next job and role that I'll be going over for you is with a company called VIA. VIA is a national retailer um, and they sell all different kinds of things, okay? So getting over into the role that I have with VIA, this role is the customer support representative role. It is fully remote. It is a full-time position and it is entry level, okay? Y'all know I got y'all when it comes to these entry level roles. I got you. All right. So this role is a 40 hour per week role. The schedule is Monday through Friday. They do have here that you will be interacting with several software systems. And if you do know Excel, Microsoft Excel, that is preferred. It is not required, but it's great because you will be in different systems. Now, some of the responsibilities that you'll have here is just responding to customers' inquiries, managing customer experiences, and processing and tracking customers' returns. They do have here just some of their company values. And then this role is starting off at $15 an hour. Now, if you have more experience, definitely negotiate yourself, but this is entry level. Basically, you having no experience doing anything, you know, and it's working from home. The benefits that they do offer here is health, vision, dental. They also do give you 10 days of PTO accrual time in your first year. You'll get 15 days of PTO time in your second Second year, which is really good. That's about three weeks of PTO time. And then you'll also get seven paid holidays per year, a company jacket, which is North Face. That's cute, right? You'll also get company water bottles, 401k, your healthcare savings account, and flexible spending account. And then they also offer quarterly social events. All right. So definitely if you're entry level and this might be a better fit for you, get over and apply 
apply, you would just come here and apply directly right here, all right? Now, if none of these roles align with you and where you're trying to go within your career, definitely make sure you stay tuned by subscribing to the channel, turning that bell notification on to all, so you can be notified every single time I drop a video. I do drop new roles every single week, and I definitely will want you to make sure that you can get the role that really aligns with you and your lifestyle and you don't miss it. So in order for that not to happen, make sure you're locked into the tribe by subscribing to the channel and turning that bell notification on. Also, check out my previous videos for the other roles and check out my YouTube shorts as well as I'll be posting additional roles there. So until next time, make sure you guys continue to reach your goals. You thrive like never before and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.